Hi everyone, it's me Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. So for today, we're going to learn about careless. But before I begin for this video, I'm just going to use informal pronunciation. So for those of you who still not clear yet, what is informal pronunciation? Please watch my number 53 video which is about confusing pronunciation. So our topic for today is careless and there are few words you can translate it in Malay. So we're going to start with the first one, chuai, chuai, chuai. So what is chuai? Chuai can be translated as careless or not concerned about something. And this word chuai is the most common one among all. I give you a formal Malay example. Jawab soalan perperiksaan dengan betul. Jangan chuai. Jawab soalan perperiksaan dengan betul. Jangan chuai. Jawab soalan perperiksaan dengan betul. Jangan chuai. For speaking, we just say, jawab soalan exam betul-betul. Jangan cuai. Jawab soalan exam betul-betul. Jangan cuai. Or another word, jawab soalan periksa betul-betul. Jangan cuai. Jawab soalan periksa betul-betul. Jangan cuai. So, in English, it means answer the exam questions properly. Don't be careless. And then we move on to the second meaning of chuai, which are ignore, neglect, consider not important, or consider not precious. And from this word, you have derivative, menchuaikan. Menchuaikan. So, prefix men plus the root word chuai plus the suffix kan. Mencuaikan. But this is only used in the formal Malay context. So, I give you an example. This is formal Malay. Jangan sekali-kali mencuaikan tanggungjawab. Jangan sekali-kali mencuaikan tanggungjawab. Jangan sekali-kali mencuaikan tanggungjawab. So, in English, it means don't ever neglect your responsibility. And next one, we move on to another derivative, kecuaian. Kecuaian. So, prefix ke plus the root word cuai plus the suffix an. Kecuaian. So, it means negligence or carelessness. So, for this word also, we often use in the formal Malay context. So, I give you a formal example. Kecuaian pemandu dipercayai menjadi punca kemalangan maut. Kecuaian pemandu dipercayai menjadi punca kemalangan maut. Kecuaian pemandu dipercayai menjadi punca kemalangan maut. So, in English, it means the carelessness of the driver believed to be the reason of the deadly accident. Now, we move on to another word, lalai. Lalai. So, lalai is often used in the formal Malay context. There are, some people use it for speaking, but it's not as common as chuai. Anyway, we take a look at the first meaning. Not careful or not doing something vehemently. Basically, it's actually synonym of chuai. I give you a speaking example. Jangan lalai masa drive. Nanti kesian orang yang tak bersalah jadi mangsa. Jangan lalai masa drive. Nanti kesian orang yang tak bersalah jadi mangsa. Jangan lalai masa drive. Nanti kesian orang yang tak bersalah jadi mangsa. So, in English it means don't be careless with driving. It's so pity that innocent people will be the victim. And then we move on to the second meaning, thoughtless. Or actually, when you are too much into something, too absorbed into something, 
into one matter and you forget about other things. So basically, it's like you get carried away. This is synonym of leka. Leka. We're going to take a look at the word leka later. But for now, we're going to focus on lalai. So for speaking, jangan lalai dengan pujian. Teruskan berusaha. Jangan lalai dengan pujian. Teruskan berusaha. Jangan lalai dengan pujian. Teruskan berusaha. Oh, jangan lalai dengan pujian. Teruskan usaha. Jangan lalai dengan pujian. Teruskan usaha. So, in English it means don't get carried away with compliment. Continue to make efforts. And then we have this derivative. Berlalai-lalai. Berlalai-lalai. However, this berlalai-lalai normally used in the formal context. But somehow, it's not that common as well. I give here the first meaning is ignore or inattentive. And second one is intentionally delay. And normally, if you want to say intentionally delay, instead of you say berlalai-lalai, you say berlambat-lambat. Berlambat-lambat. So, berlambat-lambat actually used in the formal context. But it's more common to use berlambat-lambat compared to berlalai-lalai. Next word, next derivative, melalaikan. Melalaikan. So, prefix me plus the root word lalai plus the suffix kan. Melalaikan. So, melalaikan, the first one is you not concern or you just ignore. However, this meaning is not that common like this one. Doing something. So, others become forgetful, unconscious and get carried away. So, basically, for this one, you maybe bring your friend to the nightclub and your friend has problem, real problem. So, basically, when you are in nightclub, you just forget about everything and basically, it's just blind you from your real problems. So, if you don't like to solve that problems, then you just make it something that can shift your attention from the real problems. I give here example anyway. Berlebih-lebihan menonton television boleh melalaikan. Berlebih-lebihan menonton television boleh melalaikan. Berlebih-lebihan menonton television boleh melalaikan. So it's not only nightclub. It's basically doing something like for this one in the example. As simple as watching TV. But if you so absurd into that, you can just forget about anything else and get carried away. And same goes to maybe fishing or any other hobbies or activities. Melalaikan, here, doing something so others become forgetful. Unconscious, unconscious in terms of conscious about the real problem and get carried away. So for this one, you basically... Ask someone to get involved with you. But in case if you are on your own and doing things and you are so absorbed into it, then you can also use this word melalaikan. So for this one, in English it means watching too much TV could make you get carried away. And then we have this word, this derivative, memperlalaikan. Memperlalaikan. So member, prefix member, Plus the root word lalai, plus the suffix kan. So, memperlalaikan. So, for this one, first meaning is making somebody else berlalai-lalai. Means that he or she becomes ignorant or inattentive. And then the second meaning is you delay something intentionally. And the third meaning is you entertain the heart and soul. So, this one basically like I've mentioned previously regarding the watching television or going to nightclub or go fishing or any other activities. So you basically so absorbed into doing something that entertain your heart and so so you forget the real thing. Next word terlalai, terlalai is also common to use in the formal Malay context. So first one is accidentally forget your word. So the word ter here accidentally remember but not all cases 
So please watch my prefix the video. And the second one is you basically doze off. You just actually fall asleep. And then you become unconscious. Next word, kelalaian. 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 So prefix ke plus the root word lalai plus the suffix an. Kelalaian. So this is actually now. So when you're talking about now, it's more common to use this word in the context of negligence or forgetfulness. So this one also common in the former Malay. Next derivative, pelalai. Pelalai. But even this one is not that common to use it in the former Malay context. So for this one, pelalai is someone who is lalai. Or pelalai also means like you charm or you give medication to hypnotize or to make someone inattentive, basically unconscious. For this word, pelalai, it's not that common even to use it in the former Malay context, not to mention the speaking one. For example, the second meaning, charm or medication to hypnotize or make someone inattentive or unconscious. If it's meant only to hypnotize, then we say pukau, pukau, pukau. However, if you want to use the word pukau in the former Malay context, you can use it in terms of like beautiful scenery, really memukau your sight, something like that. So it does exist if you want to put it that way. Anyway, we move on to the next word, leka, leka. This one, certain people use it in the daily conversation, but it's not as common as chuai. But leka is more to the synonym of lalai. So it's like lalai, it's overlapping between chuai and also leka. Leka, you can translate it like get carried away. So I give you a speaking example. Lulu selalu leka tengok TV sampai tak dengar maknya panggil. Lulu selalu leka tengok TV sampai tak dengar maknya panggil. Lulu selalu leka tengok TV sampai tak dengar mak dia panggil. Lulu selalu leka tengok TV sampai tak dengar mak dia panggil. So, in English, it means Lulu always get carried away while watching TV because she doesn't hear when her mom calls her. And then from this word leka, you have derivative melekakan. 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 So, you basically engaging or absorb in. I give you a formal example. Kemewahan hidup melekakan lili. Kemewahan hidup Melekakan lili. Kemewahan hidup, melekakan lili. So, in English, it means luxury lifestyle, engaging lili's interest. So, I don't think I really translate this properly. But what I wanted to say is, the luxury life makes lili someone who forget about many things. Means she's so into the luxury life of hers that she forget about anything else. That is beyond that limit. So it's all about her luxury life. You just ignore anything else. And then we have this word peleka. Peleka. But peleka, we don't really use this word. But does exist in case you want to say in the former Malay context. So if someone who always leka, then we say peleka. We normally use this one in the former Malay. But even that is not that common. And last one for this, Alpa. Alpa. This one, you don't really hear people say Alpa in the daily conversation. But you will maybe often hear in the formal context, you will often hear it in the songs. However, if it's in the formal context, like in the song, then they won't say Alpa. They will say Alpa. So it's normal like that. If it's in the song, sometimes they use the formal Malay pronunciation. So for Alpa, it's the synonym of lalai, just used in the formal context. Well, I guess that's all the lesson for now. Among all, if you're confused which one to use, chuai or lalai, it's more common to use the word chuai for daily conversation. 
But in case if someone get carried away, really too absorbed into something, you have two options for daily conversation, lalai or leka. But leka is more common word if you want to say you are too absorbed into something or someone too absorbed into something and just forget about everything else. Well, I guess that's our lesson for now. Thank you very much for watching and till we meet again then. Bye!